We must keep the key in its mold until we can find a way to cool it off. Yeah. No kidding. This lake's water is very clear and cold. I will grab it, Yoshka. It's practically cooling off my warm hands. Anyone mind if I just dip my fingers in this pond for a while? Chilla, without your guidance, we would not have this at all. Yes, this is indeed a key worthy of the gods. Hadur will honor your presence. Still, he may not like it. He can be a bit... grumpy. Let us hope he sees the value you offer in finding his missing brother.
I can't tell you where these weapons come from. I just know you won't be disappointed with them. What will it be this time? Weapons? Armor? Companions unlocked the door, not knowing what to expect on the other side. They were greeted by darkness and silence. For a full minute, they moved forward with only enough light to see a few steps ahead. Until suddenly, they found themselves in the presence of Hadur, seated upon his throne, with an appropriately godly presence. Fiery light filled the room in an instant. If this was some sort of intimidation tactic by the Firesmith King, it was working. You have arrived. Hodur's words were stern, yet strangely inviting. Not quite welcoming, but inviting. We have Lord Hador. A lifelong mission brings me to you, whilst those with me seek an audience with you for other important reasons. Your reasons are the same, whether you know it or not. You, Sebastian, seek to fulfill a personal prophecy involving the finest blade I ever crafted. Everyone else, you aim to find my brother. Your world will die without him. Yet you stand no chance against the dragon who has enslaved Nokirai, without the very sword Sebastian so desperately pursues. Our paths are linked. They are. But to face the dragon's flame in the underworld, you must be prepared. Prepared? You mean, with the sword we seek? And did you say the underworld? You will need the sword, yes. And the armor I have yet to craft for you. The dragon holds my brother in the underworld, and he has no reason to leave the realm that fuels his powers. You have no choice but to confront him there. But how? We have no means to enter that dreadful place. You will, but first return to the Copper Forest. To the west you will find the Axe of the Iron Needer. Only with this mystical tool will you be capable of retrieving a limb from the Three Branch Tree, from which your new armor will be forged. Upon your return, you will know everything I have to tell you. Now, take the west exit. Do not keep me waiting. <laughs> 